The father who was arrested after his twin sons were found dead near a playground in Upper Bukit Timer last year has confessed to killing his sons. Xavier Yap Yun Hao, 50, said in court on Tuesday, August 15, that he killed them because he believed his wife had given up on the twins, both of whom had special needs. He thought that, by ending their lives, he could relieve his wife of her burdens. He was also concerned about the potential bullying his sons might face from others, and that there would not be anyone to care for them after he and his wife die. CNA reported that Yap pleaded guilty to two counts of culpable homicide, not amounting to murder. He was charged with strangling his sons, Aston Yap Kai Shen and Ethan Yap Yi Chen, near the Greenridge Crescent Playground in January 2022. Initially facing a murder charge, Yap's situation was re-evaluated due to the revelation that he suffered from moderate severity major depressive disorder around the time of the tragic events. This led to a downgrade of the charge to culpable homicide. On January 21, 2022, Yap enacted a plan to end the lives of his sons and himself. Around 4.45 p.m., he drove his sons to the Greenridge Crescent playground and brought an ice pick along. After the children played briefly at the playground, he led them to an adjacent open field. CNA reported that he took them one by one to a covered canal near the field. After pressing a stick against their necks, he strangled both sons by submerging their faces in the water. Following the boys' deaths, Yap attempted to end his own life using the ice pick, then a tree branch and rock, but was unsuccessful. CNA reported that he conceived a scheme to falsely claim he had been attacked, believing it would indicate a lack of remorse and lead to the death penalty. When police arrived, he continued the deception, but ultimately confessed to killing his sons. Autopsies confirmed the cause of death as strangulation. Yap was assessed to have a severe and persistent major depressive disorder, worsening in the months leading up to the crime. The courts deemed that he met the criteria for the partial defense of diminished responsibility, as his condition was sufficiently severe and lasting as to affect his ability to accurately perceive the nature and moral implications of his actions. Family dynamics and struggles unveiled during court proceedings. During the court proceedings, it was revealed that Yap lived with his wife and twin sons, as well as a domestic helper responsible for caring for the boys. The couple began suspecting that their sons might have autism spectrum disorder when they were two years old. In May 2017, the twins were diagnosed to have global development delay and autism spectrum disorder. According to CNA, the prosecution said that although it was recommended that the twins attend a special education school, the mother had difficulty accepting the diagnosis and the boys' conditions. In 2019, the nine-year-old boys were enrolled in Primary 1 at a mainstream school, even though they were nonverbal due to their learning difficulties. The mother and the maid took turns accompanying each child to classes. If the mother was unavailable, one of the sons would miss school. Yap had a good relationship with his sons. The court heard that he did not typically resort to physical discipline, instead focusing on their daily needs and fulfilling their wants. However, his concerns escalated around 2019 or 2020 as he observed his wife's inability to accept their son's conditions. In September 2021, he noticed a continuous pattern of his wife's anger towards their sons, which deepened his concerns as he interpreted his wife's attitude as her giving up on their sons. These concerns led Yap to experience thoughts of suicide and despair. In a moment of impulsiveness, he purchased an ice pick. By the beginning of 2022, Yap's thoughts evolved to include harming his sons. This drastic shift was triggered by the impending assessment of the twins for their suitability to continue attending the mainstream primary school. 
Legal consequences for culpable homicide Not amounting to murder, could result in life imprisonment and caning, or up to 20 years imprisonment, accompanied by fines or caning. If no intent to cause death is established, a sentence of up to 15 years in jail, fines, caning, or a combination of these penalties might apply.